Welcome back to Beyond the News. Now, stocks took a beating at the KSE 100 nosedive, nearly 1,400 points in day-to-day -day trading, falling well below 40,000 early Monday. Trading opened at 40,500 points and dropped within an hour before further diving. By that time, the market was down by 1,400 points or nearly 3% of the total volume. Much of this bear market trend is being attributed to the central bank's decision to hike its policy interest rate by 150 basis points to 10% on Friday last week. Now, this move suggests that the State Bank of Pakistan has sharply cut its economic growth forecasts, while which make it unlikely that the central bank will meet its upcoming inflation target as well. The stock market's decline also follows extreme volatility in the currency market when the Pakistani rupee plunged more than 6% at one point before pairing a chunk of the losses. Now, to talk more on this, we're joined by Mr. Fahim Siddhar, CEO of Askari Securities Limited, who's with us right now. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Hi. Sir, so the market needs... It looks as though the market needs government direction. Do you think that the government has not been able to give the right information to public to make viable stock-related decisions? I think so. I mean, there's too much happening at the same time. If you if you look at uh, what the government is trying to do, uh, the mission, I think the whole nation is behind them. Everybody uh, can have their own opinion, but generally they're trying to improve things. But when you break down a mission to strategic, operational, and tactical aspects, it is extremely important that strategic things remain strategic and they're not mixed up with operational and tactical things. In fact, none of these things should be mixed up with each other. Right now, I f cannot understand why the State Bank would take such huge jumps to increase the, uh, the interest rate to 10% now. It's, I think, uh, at the beginning of the year, we were close to 7, now we're at 10. Every percentage point that we increase, we increase the burden on our economy, we slow it down. Why? What's the logic behind this? Um, uh, there too many things are being done at the same time. Uh, information is to be given out, it has to be given out in the proper way that it can be digested by the economy, by the people, by participants by institutions right. um, we're just seeing um, uh, a very uh, aggressive um, movement in different directions at the same time which I don't think is uh, going to be that beneficial right now mr. Sada should the government in your opinion make it clear that the repeat depreciation is being conducted on IMF's demands the government should be crystal clear about this with the nation because it appears that this is being done uh, at the behest of some request or some demand by IMF. And if, if the government is going to go to IMF, then might as well just be honest about it, by, in the sense they be open about it. There's no point in saying that you're not going to go to the IMF and then uh, the, mm -hmm. the next day you wake up to see the rupee plunging by 10 rupees. I mean, I mean it's, it's becoming, it's becoming uh, uh, unbelievable, right. if, if you ask me. Because, I mean, at the same, at one point, you're, uh, the rupee is allowed to depreciate, and at the same time, interest rates are being raised. You see, in economics, these policies do not match each other. They offset each other. Right. I don't understand uh, what, what, what's, what they're trying to do here. Right. Now, sir, what will be the impact of uh, state banks' decision to hike the interest rate on the general economy? It slows things down. When it slows things down, what it does is it creates a burden. It's like a car that decelerate and then when it has to accelerate it has to burn more fuel if a car is has accelerated and it is uh, it keeps receiving a minimal amount of fuel the mom any momentum can be maintained right now when you decelerate you have, we are going to have to accelerate right for that you need to put in more fuel more effort more time more everything and that itself is something which uh, I don't think is uh, is being factored in Right, right. And do you predict that this bear market trend will continue for a long time? When will the market recover some of its losses? I don't think it will continue for too long, but I do think that the government needs to, I think, on at least a fortnightly basis, at the very minimum, they need to start talking to the economy, to the participants. They need to stop uh, letting people guess that, okay, fine. Uh, on one hand, we were categorically told that uh, there is no need for any foreign funding. And then suddenly, 
three things have happened in the market since then, and then the forex market and the stock market, which basically tell us that adjustments are being made for IMF. So you see that they're just contradicting each other. These these uh, right. the statement and uh, what's happening in the market. I'm just saying, uh, being constructive, that the, the government has to take whatever it wants to do, whatever it is forced to do. They have to take it uh, in a sequence. Not um, people, uh, it's not that people should wake up tomorrow morning to find out that something new has happened. Right. But then if there is so much uncertainty all around us, what factors are the investors uh, really looking at to make the right decision? I think um, at this stage, it's, uh, it's a wait and see policy. That is the best uh, situation because if you look at today's volumes, the market went down by approximately 114 points, which is huge. And you had 162 million shares traded, which is absolutely uh, nothing. And of the top 10 volumes, you will notice that only one share or two shares were more than 20 rupees in value. And seven, seven uh, shares had absolutely, absolutely small values, less than, I think, 20 rupees. So, I mean, uh, there's, a, um, there's a sentimental shift. You can clearly see that today's movement was sentimental. It was right. meant to show how the market felt about the policy. Market did not accept it. Market uh, did not digest it. Let's see if it digests it tomorrow. Right. Now, my last question to you. Will stocks remain attractive considering that government bonds offer much better returns? I think the stocks are extremely attractive. Just today, with the Pakistani stocks, many of them, they became 5% more attractive. So, um, they're going to beat government bonds in any case. However, uh, we, we don't like to bet on a bearish sell. We like to bet on little dips, which sort of recover very soon. Right now, what we're seeing, what, what happened today, was based on a fundamental event that happened well, with the monetary policy. However, what we saw, the trading that we saw today, was totally sentimental. So you have to balance the two out, which means that there's going to be a sentimental adjustment in the near future, and we can, for example, if we see the government coming up with proper information dissemination, right. I think you'll see a, 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 a recovery pretty quickly. All right. Mr. Fahim Sadar, thank you so much for joining us on the show tonight. On that note, we take a quick break, but be back soon.